Hello. Do you see me, guys? Oh, you can see me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, you can see me and hear me. Okay, all right. Awesome. Finally got it to work. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Um, I thought I was live and <laughs> I kept on talking, but I couldn't see myself on the on the camera although although the camera was on so good to see you guys thank you for your patience hey 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 how is everybody doing i see women outdoors official jamia facing reality and this is awesome and this is going to be something really well it's going to be a big milestone uh in um glorious platter journey uh because i have I have done collaborations before, uh, but uh, never side by side have I cooked. Yes, food, food. <laughs> Facing reality, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate your help. You did not give up on me and you stayed. So thank you. Hey, Nigel, thank you. You are here right on time. Uh, I had some t um, hard hardship with the internet, I guess. So uh, nobody was able to see me or hear me. And I didn't do anything. I just refreshed it like somebody suggested. So we are back in business. Today, we, uh, I have this special person who is going to collab with me. She is Heather from Come Hither with Heather. She and I have done um, collaborations before. Uh, I was on her channel and I was actually... Um, like get the guest of honor and I would be telling her how to cook and she would cook. So today it's totally different. We are going, we are sharing recipes. She's sharing her recipe with me and I am sharing my recipes with her. So let's get her on the stage. Everybody give a big warm welcome to Heather from Come Hither with Heather! Hello! Hello! Welcome to my messy kitchen. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Oh, no. Hang on. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Oh, thank you, Facing. I really appreciate it. Hey, Nora! Thank you so much for coming. We are having technical difficulties today. So hello, hello. Can I you hope hear me? this doesn't... Um, can you hear me? This doesn't break down altogether like it happened a couple of times ago. So uh, let's hope everything goes well. Fingers crossed. Hello, can you hear me How now? How is everybody doing today? Can you hear me now? No? Oh, bugger. You can hear her, but I cannot hear her. Oh. Oh, now I can hear you. What did oh, you do? Okay. You can, can hear, hear me now? now. Oh, good, good. Sorry. Hello. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> Welcome to USA. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Welcome to my messy kitchen. <laughs> it's not messy. We haven't still seen it. <laughs> oh, true, true. But it won't be long. I'm not a very clean cook, you know. <laughs> Hey, Pete. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, so Heather, um, I really appreciate you accepting this uh, invite to cook with me uh, side by side uh, together, cooking the same thing. Hi, Joyful Julie. Thank you so much for coming. So Heather, could you introduce your dish to everybody? Okay. Yes, I can. I'm happy to. This is exciting for me. I've I've never done anything like this before, and I'm excited to show you an, a, a wonderful Australian dish. I'm going to, there we go. Oh, that's about as long as I can get. Let me, I'm using my iPhone. Okay. And. Hi, Hota. Thank you for coming. Let's bring the dishes out. I'm just allowing you a, a bit. So we're going to make the classic, well, not a classic. It's my take on a classic Aussie meat pie. 
Now, the meat pie was introduced in around about 1947. It's literally um, meat and gravy wrapped up in pastry. <laughs> but since 1947, things have changed and... Like now you can get chicken and vegetable pie, you can get beef, steak and kidney, you can get um, steak and bacon and cheese pies, you can get egg and bacon pie, you can get all sorts of pies. So I'm going to introduce you now to how I make my version of the Aussie meat pie. Now I did this because I had leftover meat from a roast pork that I did many, many, many years ago. And I thought, well, I couldn't be bothered cooking. So I wanted something easy. I thought instead of just doing boiled vegetables, I thought I'll just chuck everything, chuck everything I've got left over and put it into a pie. Okay. That's the great Australian way. So while you are introducing your ingredients, I will lower my yeah. camera and show mine too, okay? Yeah. So this is my pork, leftover roast pork. I've trimmed all the fat and there was no crackling left. <laughs> I made this for Werner last night. This is some chopped onion, some grated carrot, and some gravy, leftover gravy made from scratch, from the juices of the pork. This is not and made from scratch. I'm this, missing a jar. <laughs> and thanks to Gloria, I now add ginger to everything I make. Oh, Gloria introduced me to ginger outside of traditional recipes that just ask for ginger. I now put it in everything and a bit of minced garlic for flavour. Now, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not adding any salt and pepper because the pepper, the gravy that I've used, I, I use a little bit of um, pepper sauce gravy. So there's pepper in the gravy. Obviously, right. the pork is salted when it was cooked last night to get the right. good crackling. This is my chicken. I'm using chicken. Yes, you're using chicken. Now, you can use leftover veggies. You can use whatever. I've also got peas and corn. This, just frozen peas and corn. And there's a little bit of capsicum in there as well. Um, but I just add that straight from the freezer. I don't defrost it because that do not take long to defrost. It's simple, it's easy, and it's delicious. And we need a little bit of oil to saute the vegetables, right? Yes, oil. Talk about product placement. I'm not monetized. I need a sponsorship from, <laughs> from Coles, I think. <laughs> oh, I hear your clock. Your cuckoo clock. Yes. Uh, Do you mind? It's not in the recipe you gave me because we are spicy people. Do you mind if I use some uh, cayenne pepper in here? Yeah, that's fine. You, for sure, oh. use cayenne pepper. That's all right. This is this is just a recipe I made up of what I had, and every time it's different. Okay, all right. Every time I make it, it's different because I use whatever vegetables in the free in the fridge, or whatever okay. vegetables are left over from the roast. Right. Sometimes there are none. You know what roast veggies are like. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, in our house, it's uh, hardly any leftovers. So this exactly. chicken I, I uh, roasted last night, there were four breasts. So I was able to uh, uh, have some because there was other other meat dishes too. So Yes. And it was, it was really hard when you were asking for quantities. I'm like, I don't know. I know. You just, just throw bits and pieces in there, right? Mm -hmm. I just throw it until I think I've got enough and yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, tell me when to turn the uh, the oven on. Um, just okay. we'll do I it turn the oven. I turn the well. It depends on what your what your oven is. I've already got my oven on and preheated oh. because my oven takes a long time to preheat. So three fifty, right? Three fifty. Yes, three fifty degrees. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's Fahrenheit. I don't know what it is in Celsius. Well, it is Fahrenheit. We use Fahrenheit. Oh, do you? Yeah. Um, I've got mine on 250 degrees Celsius, I think. Okay. So, so that's, uh, that, that, is, uh, that is 350. should be fine. Oh, uh, yeah. hold on. Can somebody look up 250, 250, you said? Yeah, I've got mine on 250 or just under 250. 
250 would be, I think, 375 or 400. Can somebody look it up for me, please? Yes, I think it is. I think you might be right there. Yeah, it's got to be higher. Can somebody look up 250 Celsius? So what is it equal in Fahrenheit, please? Pete, can you help, um, please? Yes, because you need to remember that we're not, we're, we're the, pot, the filling is already cooked. All you want to do is brown the... Um, Brown the pastry. Okay. So the hotter it is and the quicker you can brown the pastry without burning it, obviously. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Yankee Kyle. Thank you for coming. The is better. anybody looking up for the conversion? I need to have the right amount because I don't want mine not brown and then uh, Heather's is nicely brown. <laughs> <laughs> now I have the yeah, my oven, my oven burns quickly. It's a small oven and I have to keep a close eye on it. Right. Facey, can you look it up, please? Mahi, can you look it up? 250 Celsius equal to how many Fahrenheit? Yeah, look uh, in the look in the uh, Google, please. Yes. Okay, so while he is look, uh, my husband is looking it up. So, yep. 482, 482. So, yeah, about 475 to 480. Okay, I'm going to go for 480. 380? Uh, 480. 482, my... Oh, that would be way high. Yes. Try 475 or, four, or 440, yeah. Okay. 450, yeah. The Usually when I see high. recipes are in Fahrenheit, they're around about the 450, 450 mark. <laughs> All right, let's go for 450. Oh, 482, Nigel. Thank you. Okay, let's go for 480. Yep. Right, you are good. Okay, I am at 480. That will take about five minutes. In the meantime, we can uh, start it this. So tell me what you're doing and I am going with you. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to turn my element, back element on to heat up my pan because everything's just going to go into this one pot wonder that will turn out to be a big pot wonder. Right. I'm going to move you guys a little bit closer so that way you can see what I'm doing. Are you, you see, able to see this pot? Can you see my oven? You can see what yes, I'm doing. Are you Just able to? Oil. I've all, I've also trimmed the fat off the pork as well to make it a little bit healthier. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've got to be careful with the oil. The other day, I just turned this, and the lid came off, and a whole load of oil fell oh, into the. Pan. No. I know. Yeah, so Billy, Billy, there's a guy called Billy, there's a pie, pie thing called Billy, he's a, a baker called Billy, um, and he is one of South Australia's icons. All his pies, pasties, sausage rolls, all his cakes can be found in large chains and smaller shops, bakeries alike, everywhere in oh. South Australia. He only recently passed away this year, actually. Oh, no, okay. Billy, yeah, which is a shame. He's an he's a he's a South Australian icon along with Balfour's. Balfour's is another baker. No, oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, nice dress, Heather. Thank you. Uh, you like it? And even Nora is uh, saying that. I just I just saw the full dress now. Beautiful. Thank you. Actually, I actually did. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I actually wore this to Pride March this year. I remember you you had that. Yes, I remember yes, you wore so it. Oh, how glorious it would be to swan around the kitchen in this. Oh, do yeah. Do I look like I'm swanning or am I doing the baby elephant walk? <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, oh, my oil is heated up. Is yours? No, not quite yet. All right, I'll wait so for you. It's an electric oven and everything takes forever. Oh. Now, you might notice a little bit of smoke coming from my oven. No need to panic. There's nothing burnt. After I cooked the <laughs> roast pork, I didn't have a chance to clean the oven because I went straight to Carol's. 
So oh, all right. the I didn't get a chance to clean up all the splash. So, yeah. Oh, it's not too bad. Don't take a close look, though. How are we going? A little bit longer. I should have turned this on earlier. I'm ready to start the garlic and ginger. Okay, well, let's start off and let's get some ginger and garlic happening. Just a teaspoon of each or to your own taste. It doesn't matter. If you like ginger and garlic, then put more in. If you don't like it so much, either put less or leave it out altogether. It's up to you. Again, this is a recipe that changes all the time depending on what I've got. I'm uh, starting it uh, under medium flame. Does it have to be? In yeah, that should be right. Yes, however you sauce how you Onions okay. So the first thing we're going to do is put our onions in. So okay. these are diced onions. Okay. Mine's up high at the moment, but I will turn it down low once it heats up properly. Today I'm using um, yellow onions, the Vidalia. Yes, I'm using green onions, I think. Okay. Or brown onions, I can't remember. Oh, I didn't chop them up very well. Uh-oh. I was in a bit of a hurry. Here we go. Can you hear the sizzle? Let's do this. <clears throat> what do you use I to peel your onions? Have you got, I've got the wooden spoon here. Oh, nice. Okay. The bane of my childhood. <laughs> yes, my mom had one of these, one of those wooden spoons uh, to beat the cake, cake batter with. That yeah. time we didn't have any electronics. When we were small, so we used to hand beat the cakes with those wooden spoons. Uh huh. Yes. And I my, was... mother used, my mother used to smack us with the wooden spoon. It was bittersweet because we either licked the batter off the wooden spoon or got smacked with it. <laughs> we, don't, we don't. We don't know what we were up for when we heard our name or we saw the wooden spoon. If it was dirty, we knew we were in for a treat. Uh -oh. If it was clean, we knew we were in trouble. Oh no. <laughs> I love okay, so I'm just so tiny. Oh, you beat the cakes. <laughs> Not beat me with it, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, they wouldn't get away with it now. All right, the onions are coming out nice. Now, I'm just going to start taking the plastic off everything because next will come the carrot. And then are the carrots oh. going now or do the onions need to brown a little bit? Oh, I just sort of I brown the onions first. The carrot doesn't take long to cook. It'll oh, probably yeah. all dissolve by the time the pie is put together. How Again, you don't have to carrot did you use? Yeah, is sorry. This, is this enough? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, because you said one carrot and I didn't know whether it was a big carrot or oh, a small okay. one. So I got like a medium one. Yes. Now if you want, you can you could dice the carrot if you didn't mind cooking a bit longer, you can dice yeah. the carrot as well. But for me, this recipe, to be true to what I use it for, is just quick and easy. When I don't want to cook, but I know I have to, and I can't be bothered doing anything else, I just make everything simpler. Okay. So the less I have to cook, the better. Yeah, so I also thought it sits faster, so I grated the... I was going to dice them, but you, you suggested let's grate them, so I grated them. Yeah. Okay, so that onion is. It smells good with the, with the garlic and ginger. It smells so good. So that's what it's that's what it's looking like now. If you can see. Hello, it. Australia. Thank you for joining, Australians. Really okay, appreciate let's it. Let's the carrot in. Good day. Good day to you all. That is how Australians greet each other, right? D, yes, good, you day. Day. good day. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Now, the Aussie pie, about every, the average person eats about 12 pies, of, 12 pies a year. And the pie at football, you have American football, we have Australian rule, Aussie rules football, and yes. the pie is the one treat that we have when we go and watch the football, a meat pie. Right. And during the grand final season, 90,000 in like 
over four matches, 90,000 meat pies as well. And the Australian rules, uh, Australian rules football grand final. Very nice. Wow. And they cost a fortune. Yeah. What do you wear when you go to watch? Uh, football, you, you, it's usually winter, so you rug up. Okay. With your scarves and your hats and your team colours. Oh, okay. Yes, and we fight and we brawl and we drink beer and we behave like larrikins and our, and our motto is Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. <laughs> okay. My so I'm going to call out Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. I want everyone in the chat to write oi, oi, oi. O, I. Oi, oi, everybody write oi, oi, oi. My Ozzy, sister, Ozzy, Ozzy. <laughs> my sister she lives in Brisbane, so I went to Brisbane and then I went to visit my um, school friend and also my niece in um, Melbourne. Yeah, Australia is a beautiful country. I want to go again. Oh, well, we, I have yes. to win the win the lottery first. Absolutely. Look, if I had the money, waiting, I'd bring them over. waiting for Scratching Pete to share his winnings so we can go. <laughs> what we need, we need to win Scratch. We need to be on the Pete's pick wheel, the the wheel, yeah. of Pete's wheel, and and get him to scratch our ticket and win us all two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> Are we right. anywhere closer to? Uh, putting the vegetables in yet? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna grab my peas, carrots, and corn. Uh, sorry, peas and corn. This has oh. got a little bit of little bit of capsicum as well. Carrots are already in. Well, I kept these out so they're not frozen. Frozen. Oh, yeah, well, that's all right. That's I okay. the frozen packet, but then because. Uh, you said one cup. I took it off the bag and uh, measured one cup each. Oh yeah, well only because I only because you wanted a wanted a um wanted a measurement. I just go by what I've got. I know. So you just dump yes. the whole bag. <laughs> I can dump the whole bag if I need to. Look, I think I've probably got enough. Depends, here to... depends on how much uh, you need, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. How much I need to make the filling. So have you put your carrot in? Yes. Yep, your carrots in. Let's go with the corn and the peas. Okay, I'm just going to... In goes the corn. In goes the peas. Okay. This is going to be nice. You okay there? Yeah, I'm fine. So, this is what mine's looking like. Thank you and for you your can... likes, guys. I really and... appreciate it. Yeah. And you can see the even distribution of all the different vegetables happening there. Nice and bright. Yeah. Very colorful. Thank you, Pete. Really appreciate your help. I really appreciate everyone for being here. See, I don't consider myself a cook. I'm just a silly old bag housewife. <laughs> <laughs> well, you still bring out some delicious dishes, so I'll change yeah. the title. Should I, should I add the cayenne pepper now or later? Yeah, add the cayenne pepper now, I reckon. Yeah. All right. I might, I might add a bit of cayenne pepper as well. You are? Okay, cool. Why not? How spicy can you go? Um, I can go very spicy, but Werner's not a big spicy fan. Oh, okay, okay. But those pastries, you know... Oh, hang on. Those pastries have cayenne pepper, and he loves it. So I've started using cayenne pepper a bit more. See, I told you the uh, the oven will be warm enough. 
So it's, it's ready. Oh, I've got cumin. I can't find it. Oh, back Guys, how spicy would you want the chicken pie to be? Um, I would say to you, traditionally pies aren't spicy, but if you I like, I know, I know, but it's just that we are spicy people. If so you like, like spice, not too spicy, but you know. But anyways, all these additions because this is this is sweet corn and these are sweet peas, so I don't think it's gonna be too spicy. Yeah, yes. I can't find my cumin pepper. Pies level seven. All right. What about chili? Chili powder. Yeah, chili powder is fine. Or flakes. I've got chili flakes here. And I think between you and me, I think I've added chili flakes before. Make sure your vegetables are not becoming brown, Heather. <laughs> oh, go chili flakes. I'll put a few chili flakes in just a sprinkle. Alrighty. There we go. I put like um maybe half two hey, one man. teaspoon. Are you ready to add your meat? Let's add our meat. All right. In goes my chicken. I've got my pork. Chicken. What do people put there? Chicken or pork? Or like Guys, what do you like to eat, chicken or pork? I'm doing the chicken pie and Heather's making the pork pie. Now, obviously, the, um, the pork doesn't actually have to be cooked, so we're just wanting to warm oh, yeah. it through. Really? Okay. Chili, oh chili. When you say you're chili, you feel cold and yet chili flakes are hot. I don't get that. <laughs> there we go. Chicken for you, hey, hey. Thank you so much for, for me. Really appreciate it. Now I reckon that's probably that gravy is probably more than a cup. Uh, but it doesn't. This one is, I got like half a cup. How much do you want me to use? Well, you you want it's it's meat and gravy, so you want the gravy. You don't want it to be so runny that it ruins the. This is pretty thick. The thing, but you don't want it to be too thick like pug either. So you just want to. Nice, probably about that consistency. Okay. I'm but thinking. Would, would this be enough? Half a cup? It should be enough. It should okay. be enough. Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's okay. All it. right. In goes the gravy. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. This is so new to me. And do you know what goes well with the meat pie? Tell me. Sauce. And chips, as in potato. Oh, yeah. You call All them right. fries. We call them chips because they're a bit bigger than fries. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know I know chips because when I lived in England, my what I miss from England is fish and chips. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, with a little bit of vinegar. Ooh. Oh, yes. So should the flame be... Medium, high? How do uh, you... I've got mine on high at the moment. I should turn it down. Okay. So if your gravy's too runny, you'll just thicken it up. No, it's not. It's not too runny. No, I, reckon this is, I reckon this one I've got here is a pretty good consistency. Okay. So How you've got the gravy, you've that? got the meat. I feel, I feel I didn't add enough meat. You, you're, you're... Oh, is it because my uh, pan is bigger? Probably because your pan's bigger. Mine's a fairly okay. small pan. There are only three people remember, Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so one of my eight for five. This, this, this is my easy method. I did not make the gravy. Oh, that's looking good. And I reckon there's probably, I'll see how I go. 
So Sorry. it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too watery because then the pie will not brown well or cook well or burst, right? What is gonna happen? Absolutely, but you don't want it like pug either. Okay. I don't know if anybody knows what pug is, but it's like a big bowl of glue that doesn't leave the spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Duck to the spoon and <coughs> <laughs> I'll turn my oven off because it's electric. It'll stay hot for a while. Okay. But eventually it will cool down. So you okay. want, I, I usually like let the mixture cool a bit. Right. So are we going to turn this off now? Yeah, turn it off. If and you're this happy has, with the this way has it's cool done. down, right? Yep. Let it cool down so we can put it in the pastry. Right. <laughs> Okay, let me grab a towel. I wipe this down. I've washed it down. I wipe it down now. I'm going to have my cooling method put some ice under the dish. Right. Now the fun bit. Under the dish. Oh, that's a good idea, Gloria. Yeah, so that way we don't have to wait long. And then in the meantime, we can get the pie crust going, right? Yes, yes. Um, every time I cook, if it turns out well, it's just simply blind luck. <laughs> so I've, got some, I've just got the ends of my last margarine here, so I'm just going to use that. That'll do. To grease the pie dish. This is my Heather, pie dish. Heather, can I ask you something? So this is my pie dish. Yours seem to be larger, and all this would be too much inside. Yeah, you don't have to put it all in. I, okay. There are times when I've had too much, yeah. and I've just put it into a Tupperware container. I can and have it on two pies, right? Yes. You okay. can make two okay. pies if you want. You can fill it as much or as little as you want. Okay, okay, cool. And if there's any pie stuff left over, I sometimes have it on toast for breakfast the next morning. All righty. It's just delicious. Or even put it in the fridge, make another pie, have two Hi, pies. Hi, Adams. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, so there we go. A nicely greased pie dish. This was my grandmother's pie dish. Hey, I'm missing that stuff. Hold on, wait for me. Sorry, am I going too far? Sorry, Gloria. No, I'm I'm like I'm still talking about okay, that will be enough. Let's go oh, as fast as Heather. I don't know if I put too much. Do you people recycle? Um well we sometimes do, sometimes we don't. Yeah. But over there you have to, right? Yes, over here we do. See these containers? They go into, we have three bins. Oh, one yeah, for rubbish. Yeah. I remember one that. For, yes, one for recycling and one for green waste, garden waste. These these need to be washed and okay. put into the recycling bin. We have only one, one bin, one, one trash can. And uh, we do have... One that we are doing it uh, for ourselves. It's uh, in the garage. It's um, it's actually for water bottles, empty water bottles. Oh. Then they pay us. Yeah. Do you know in South Australia, bottles like this, this is Pepsi Max. This is wow. not a, an endorsement. But these bottles will bring you 10 cents. If you take them to a recycling depot, you'll get 10 yeah. cents for a bottle. Some people actually make a living on... Yeah, but then, you know, in uh, in here, they say on the on the bottle, back of the bottle, it will say 5 cents. But once yes. you go to the recycling centre, they actually weigh the bottle. So I think you'll get about 2 or 3 cents because the bottle oh. is way much. 
Yeah, they actually think of increasing the price to 15 or 20 cents a bottle. You don't yeah. see many bottles lying around the streets, I tell you that much. Yeah, and I think we, we pay more when we are buying the bottle, but when yes. we actually try to recycle, we don't get. We don't I mean, get. Ago when I was a kid, uh -huh. um, we would actually take our bottles into the corner store, the deli. Okay. And we'd actually exchange the bottles for bag of bags of mixed lollies and other bottles of drink as well. Right. And if there was a difference in the price, then we'd just pay the difference. But usually we'd have a whole heap of bottles and just cash them all in, swap them for lollies and chocolates and ice creams. It was great. Oh, okay. They don't do that anymore, unfortunately. Right. So... I have my uh, pastry. I have two of them. And you told me to use the puff pastry, right? I said use the puff. Yeah, use the puff pastry. There's a bit of water. I'm just going to dab the water out. Okay, let's get the puff. I've got my puff. Now, you don't have to use puff pastry. You can use short crust. Now, traditionally, pies are made out of short crust pastry, I think. Yes. That's what oh, I have a question for you. Yes. So what's the question? No, no, no. I asked you and you said I could use the puff pastry, but do you think I should use the uh, the pie crust? Um oh look, it's up look it's up to you. Use whatever you feel comfortable, whatever you think you'll like. Because I'm just Although you can just cut and paste this uh, and make it round, these are squares. These are actually uh, yes. um, not the rounds. The pie yeah, they, the yeah, mine are square as well, and I just cut them to size. Yeah, you can you can always pitch it and can then I make this go down any further. Oh yeah, you should be able to see what oh, I'm doing. Oh yeah, now. I can see it. Yes, <coughs> these are the round ones. Yeah, no, these are square. I'm putting them into a round dish. So what I'm going to do now is just open this up. Now, the bot mum doesn't do a pie with the bottom. She just does the top. So I've just placed that in there. Oh, so you, you're not going to line it? Are you Sorry? going to line it here? Sorry? Are you going to line the dish and then put yeah, I'm lining the No, I just use I just use margarine. I don't worry about lining the dish. <laughs> I'm a bit lazy. Now, so I cut the corners off and I just place them. See, mine is round. Around. And see, when you open, if it breaks, you can always yeah, cut them in there. together. In there. A little bit of fiddling, but, you know, it's all good. And place that there. Right. Are we ready for the filling? Can One you see second. What I'm oh, no. I've done this a hundred times, so I sort of I forget people don't know. Hey <laughs> Sandy. My Aji's kitchen, Hi, thank Sandy. you so much for coming. This is great comfort food. It really is comfort food. And Gloria, you're the only person I know that can cook a healthy vegetable to go with a comfort food. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't want to stress you out, but I made a potato salad last night for our picnic, and I've got some left over, so I might add a little bit of potato salad to our dish at the end. If oh, we're gonna... guess what? <laughs> guess what? I made potato salad couple of days ago and i do have potato salad in the fridge homemade oh look at that you know what great minds think alike we are the best high, high five gloria oh, high, yeah. high five high five Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> so you know it's not store-bought Spike the bottom. Spike the bottom. Did somebody say spike the bottom? This is all that is left. Are you talking about the pastry, D? Spike the pastry bottom. I can do that. You like this? Is that what you mean? What is it? 
Um, they knew they yeah, said the top. Top. That will be the top too. <laughs> they do the top as well. That will be the top too for the steam to escape. <laughs> it's we Aussies, we like to dumb things down. <laughs> we like to shorten everything. Like afternoon tea break is smoko. Back in the days when people used to say, when people used to smoke and they'd have a smoke break, we call it smoko, afternoon tea and morning tea. Oh, okay. Morning smoko, afternoon smoko. And the tea ladies would come around with coffee and cakes. We oh. don't have them anymore. Okay. But many years ago, my dad used to love it when the tea lady came around and served coffee and cakes. Oh, nice. Mm. Okay. Are we good? Yes, we're good. We're good. I'm good. Are you good? Yes. So now, far, have a look so good. At so far now that's so emulsified a little bit, but that's still all right. It'll still get a bit, bit you know, moisture in when it goes back into the oven. So a great spoon. Sandy, you're watching on your phone? I know, and it's so little, huh? Okay, are we ready? Oh, you're already, yeah. you're already I'm pushing on. So no, yeah, no flies without me. You've got to keep up, Gloria. <laughs> I am talking to the people in the chat. I need to talk to them. <laughs> I know, I know. I know it's hard. It's hard, isn't it? This is well, we play, well, we're always first in Australia, so... <laughs> We're it's always two hours ahead. It's cold, but then, you know, it's fine. Okay, look at that. You know, I reckon I've made enough, just enough. So give this pie a really nice filling, nothing left over. Have you tried something like this, D? Because D's in Australia. D? Have you Dee would have, yes. D would have made a... I'm sure Dee would have made a few pies in her lifetime. Do you think this should feel a little bit more, or what do you think? Um, it's like half an inch down from the top rim. A little bit more, I reckon. Okay. So you can see my mind's pretty much all the way yeah. to the top. This is a good thing when you just doing whatever you work with what you've got. <laughs> okay, I guess there won't be two pies. You work with what you've got. Are you a recipe person, Gloria, or are you uh, just a mix and match or try anything? I do both. You do both, yeah? Both. You won't believe I have recipe books too. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm a recipe person. The first time I make a new dish... I will follow the recipe to a T. Okay. Once I know I can make that recipe and it tastes nice and it worked out, then I'll add my own twist to it. I do the same thing. Yeah, I like to. I like to do a little bit of a change after after I have tried the first time. Yes. Yeah. Right now, um, have you got your egg stuff? Your egg ready? Gloria. Yes, coming. Where's my dish to be the egg? There you go. Oh, can you see? You can't quite see me. You don't want to see me beat an egg, do you? Oh, maybe you do. I don't know. I do. I'm sure there's a kink there somewhere. Oops. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I forgot I'm not on my channel. <laughs> Hi, official Jamia. Emotion. Hey, music man. Today we have no, no music here, so I'm glad Emotion is here. He could sing to us. Guys, check out his channel. Oh, He's a good singer. Absolutely. Some of his music and songs just make me cry. Oh, yeah, he had one song that said, I made you cry. And, yeah, he made me cry with yes. the song. And then Onions made me cry that day. <laughs> Oh, you're crying all over the place. Has D answered whether she has And made um, I did not have the music on. Usually I use copyright-free music 
from Thrive Together. If you check the description box, you will see the um, the uh, the site where you can get your copyright music, copyright free music. But today, since Heather and I will be talking, both of us will keep you entertained. Yes, absolutely. So Dee okay. said that her so mother's music maker. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Um, Dee said that her mother's stews usually end up in a pie. Oh, okay. Yes, and that's even better because you don't even have to cook anything. It's already there. The vegetables are in the stew. That's the meat's true. there. The gravy's there. Just throw some pastry around it and throw it in the oven. Woohoo. We are going for the top, right? Are we going yeah, for the yeah. top now? Are you ready for the top? I'm ready for the top. I am ready. Okay, now I put my corners, see where the um, bits don't quite meet. I put my corners, um, where do I, how do I fit this here. Like that? I do my corners like that, like a star shape then. Pull that off, pull it off. And I just do a little bit of this. A little bit of Monica. Oh, no, I don't want to get you copyrighted. <laughs> I can't sing. Little bit of Heather. By my side. Oh, there we go. Just stuff that in there. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I want to pinch the sides, but they're not. I'll pinch the sides. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to, I want to pinch the sides and make it nice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do what you crappy. Do what you need to do. Um, because it's not uh, at room temperature, so it's not. Yes. It's not. It's not listening to me. I mean, again, I just don't want to be cooking when I make these, so I just slap it on, slap it in, and then I can sit and chill for like twenty minutes and then serve. It's just so easy. Let's see if I pick, pinch this with the fork if it would look nice. Yeah, I do a bit of pin. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what I did. I rolled the pastry somehow and I got a great big crust around the, a circle crust around the edge. I don't know what I did to yeah, do same that. Same here, same here. Same here. I can't, uh, I can't control it the way I used to because it's not at room temperature. I was going to use the... Puff pastry. So this was in the fridge. Oh. So yeah, well. yeah, this is in the fridge as well, but it doesn't take long. Let's do that. There we go. Look Hi, at Jamaica. that. Hi, Jamaica. Thank you for coming. It's not pretty, but it's delicious. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, well, how am I going with the phone? Are people okay? Is this a good idea using the phone? I'll move the phone. I'll move the phone back a bit. It seems to be working all right. Now I'm just going to prick my pie because I do know once you get your thing in, it's best to get it in the oven yeah. quickly for the steam to escape, right? Yes, yes. So I'm just going to quickly brush my Have thing with my... four, four places. Yeah, I just did four. One, two, three, four. Do you know the pies in? Um, Australia, when, when people make pies, they actually have different patterns on them. They have a oh, pattern yeah. that says this is a meat pie. They have a pattern on the top that says this is a steak pie. This is a egg and bacon pie. This is a oh, cheese okay. pie. Is so, yeah, it? They, put, nice. they put different patterns on so you can see straight away what, what it is. Wow. I can never remember what one's what. So I'm going to put this straight in the oven because I'm done. And I'm going to go, hey, Siri. You have to turn the oven on again because I remember you turned it off. No, I didn't turn it off. I just left it running. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. <laughs> oh, Siri, woman. <laughs> I'm, going to have to turn, I'm going to have to turn the timer on myself. Um, I'm going to start off with 15 minutes. Only because my oven is small and it doesn't take long. You know, the bottom will, the, the heat comes from the bottom. So the bottom can burn. 
maybe my 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 command will respond to you uh for to your siri hey siri yes. oh my siri might talk <laughs> <laughs> oh boy Oh dear. Yeah, I'm still not sure about that. Yeah, it's saying sorry, I'm still not sure about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay, Siri. We are kidding around. Okay, what's the timer gonna be? Um, start off the, well, you know your oven better than I do, but usually it takes about 20 minutes to 25 minutes for my puff pastry to brown. Okay. 20 minutes. Uh, I, I start with 15 minutes and then I turn it. I have to turn mine as well because I've got a stupid oven. <laughs> and I'm also going to have to wash my pot, I think. Okay, so that pie was what Heather shared. From Australia to USA. Yep. In 20 minutes, you will see what it looks like. So from USA to Australia, we are going to make Brussels sprouts and bake it. So I guess, Heather, you still have not washed and cut your Brussels sprouts in half? No, not yet. I'll wait Sorry, for you. Can I explain you can do that? Yes. Oops. Oh, yeah. So I cut the bacon into small pieces because um, after cooking the bacon, cutting it later would be just, you know, um, time consuming and an oily mess. So instead, I cut it first. And the Brussels sprouts are washed and clean, and I cut them into halves. But if they were really big, then you could cut them into quarters. Oh, and this is uh, Fluffy's favorite dish. Hey, hey, good day, Fluffy. You're here. Here are your favorite vegetables. <laughs> she hates them. Heather. Yes, so do I, to be perfectly honest, Gloria. Oh, you should have told me when I suggested. We could have gone for some, we could have gone for potato salad. <laughs> well, I, yeah, well, I don't know. I um, I said, I'll give anything a go once. If, I mean, I think I had Brussels sprouts once that weren't too bad. Okay. But I'm so, pretty sure you would like it when it's cooked with bacon. Well, I like bacon. So all you need for this dish is bacon, Brussels sprouts, salt and pepper, but I'm not using salt. Obviously, you know, bacon has a lot of sodium. So I would use my um, black pepper powder. Hi, Derek. Derek's journey. Good to see you. Hello, Derek. Thank you for coming. Welcome to our collaboration where USA is sharing recipes with Australia. Australia is sharing with USA. I tell you what, Glory, if you can make me like Brussels sprouts, you are going to become a legend. All right. I want to be that. <laughs> you tell me tomorrow how you liked it. Or I will. Tonight itself, you can you can tell me. So, I don't know about your mum or whoever parents used to cook. It was always mum in my house. Yeah, but my mom. She boil the vegetables to death. Yeah, my mom used to cook. I did not like her, her vegetables. No, I changed, I changed it up. And uh, yeah. after my mom, my oldest sister Sonia started cooking, and then it was handed over to my sister, Delicia, in um, Australia. And then that's when I hated cooking. They were inviting me to the kitchen to peel onions. <laughs> I yeah. used to hide, you have heard this story, I used to hide on the curry leaf tree or on the rooftop because I hated to help in the kitchen. 
but I learned, I learned, and then here I am, and I have a cooking channel. So yeah, I'm, yeah, a, I'm using a skillet, which is kind of tall, because as you know, when you cook bacon, there'll be lots of oil. Mm -hmm. And this recipe is asking you to keep all that oil to cook the Brussels sprouts in. Oh. However, however, I I do not like all that grease going into my tummy, especially oh. when Derek's journey is here watching what I'm eating. Oh, <laughs> so yes. We, he is, we, he we is the one who motivated me to oh. lose weight, and I'm doing so good. And Derek, I'm going to join your challenge whatever month it's starting. Don't leave me out. So remember, I am in. You have witnesses. <laughs> I missed out. I missed out signing up for this month's challenge. I don't know I why. Don't know. I, just... I don't know how I missed out. So I was watching his video yeah. today, and I said, "Yeah, I'm totally in," and missed out. Uh, I thought this was when it when it said the uh, holiday challenge. I thought it was for January first, uh, second week, and I thought, yeah, by January second week we can do it. And then, uh, <laughs> to as I was, wa I have already commented that I missed it. I'm in. As I was watching, I realized, oh, they have already started without us. So oh. don't leave us. Never mind. And it, yeah, never mind. It's a bit confusing with the time and dates. That's, that's true. As that's well, true. between countries. I mean, holidays are not helping us to lose weight. No, certainly not. Um, now, how is this too much? Oh, can, oh, geez, that a word? Should that even leave my leave my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> too much bacon. You can never have too much bacon. No, cut it into like half inch uh, pieces. So that they cook. Well, that'll be all right. That's plenty. Half inch pieces. Yeah. So if you keep a bunch on top of each other, it will be faster. Steps challenge starts January. Okay, I'm in. Let me practice. So am I. Let's walk. Let's walk on the spot. <laughs> I'm in too. I, I did all right um, last month. I. Good. Good. I Probably didn't walk as much as most people, but I got out there yeah. and not letting people down was my biggest motivation. Good. That's good. Oh, thank for you. other people than thank myself. You. Thank you so much. So today I have done 14,202 steps. Okay. But enough. How's that for bacon? That's good. That's good. That's good? Yeah. Okay. Oh. But when I am uh, on Derek's challenge, I usually try to do 16, 18, 20K, which is hard uh, on weekdays. Yes. But, you know, it happens. I think um, three out of three out of seven days, I managed to reach 10,000. At least one day I got over the 10,000 because when we go exploring, yeah. if I do my regular walk and then we go exploring, I think my highest was 16,000. Oh, wow. Okay. Then the day after we go exploring, I'm so tired. I do about 500. Next day you don't want to walk, right? Okay, let's do yeah. the Okay, I'm just going to wipe out my... Um, Dish. I don't think I'll wash it. I think I'll just wipe it out. What do you reckon, Glory? Or should I wash it? Ah, uh, how 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 bad is it? Oh, it's not that bad. I'll just wipe it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It'll just add to the flavour of the Brussels sprouts. Probably. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> yeah, then you'll get it. Okay, I'm adding the bacon into my pan. Yeah. So my thing's still a bit warm. So add the bacon. No, no oil. No, no. It's gonna bring a lot of oil. Oh no! Please stay away from oil now. Stay away from oil. Read. I'll, I'll do a fluffy. Read my lips. Stay away from oil. <laughs> <laughs> I love imitating other chat. Other 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 channels. It's fun. Oh yeah. 
Fluffy is fun. She tells Fluffy. us what to do and what not to do. Right, Fluffy? Okay. She's the boss. She's the boss. Fluffy's the boss. <coughs> All right, well, there we go. My bacon is fluffy. My bacon is fine. Okay. Bacon is making it sound. Right. Guys, how well do you like your bacon to be cooked? Crispy? I like it. I like it crispy. Oh. I like my bacon crispy. Good. I like my bacon. I like my men. Delicious. Luffy is <laughs> going to eat this. I'm going to feed you this. I'm going to feed you this. You are going to eat this, Fluffy. Let's wait. I like this. Yeah. And you will ask for seconds. Because you you will close your eyes and say, oh, the Brussels sprouts taste like bacon. Yes. I tell you what, people, I'm not one to meet my, you know, to say something's good. If, if I don't like it, I don't like it. But I tell you what, if I like this recipe, oh. I will let everyone know. Oh, that will be yes, awesome. Good. If I don't like it, I'll also let you know. So I challenge everyone to try this um, recipe. All right. If I like it, that's the challenge. Everyone's got to try it. Fluffy, are you going to try if Heather likes it? If Heather gives the thumbs up? <laughs> and especially if Heather it? likes it too. Because he can be a bit fussy. He doesn't yes, like cooking. Mom, hi. How are you? Thank you so much. Yes, we are cooking each other's food. We're sharing recipes. So this is going to be a series. If any of you want to join me in this series, let me know. I am on Instagram at glorious underscore platter. Contact me or you can even email me. So you give me your dish and I give you mine. And then we cook it together. This is fun. Yes. So, Heather, is this going to be your lunch? Um, probably. I might, no, I'll probably wait for Werner and have tea. I'll have to heat it up. How does okay. it go in the microwave, or should I just reheat it in the pan? This will be our dinner. This will be my dinner, yes. Oh. I think. Will it be all right to reheat in the pan or in the microwave? What is it? If I reheated the um, Brussels sprouts, yeah, after it's cooked, reheat it in the pan or reheat yeah. it in the microwave. Yeah, in the pan because in the microwave pan. it's just going to be messy. Even if yeah. you cover it up, you know how oil splatters. Yeah. Now Werner doesn't normally like cooked bacon. Okay. He'll eat it raw, but he doesn't like it cooked. He doesn't like bacon in beans. So it'll be interesting. But I think he might like Brussels sprouts. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see. I've never asked him because I've never had any inclination to cook them since I left home. <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably the one vegetable that my parents never actually made us eat. They give us one. Right. And we got to eat one, but that was it. They never and my cabbage, mum used to boil cabbage to death with vinegar, and I didn't yeah. really like her. And right. she used to let me eat the cabbage raw. So she put raw cabbage on my plate. <laughs> I I I used to be a very picky eater as a child when it came to vegetables. Um, but you know, I eat everything now. If yes. I'm, I eat, I eat broccoli. I eat uh, Brussels sprouts, but not on a regular basis. But if no. you give me a choice between broccoli and uh, Brussels sprouts, I'll take Brussels sprouts. Okay, yeah, yeah. But I do eat broccoli. Yeah, there, isn't one, there isn't one that I wish I would push aside. Oh, I don't want to eat it. Hey, yeah. Charlene. How are you, beautiful? Thank I you so much. Oh, I've got to check my oven. Okay. 
Okay, so. Mine is, is getting down. So that's it. I'm going to put it in for another. I'm going to turn it around. You can see one edge is browning, one edge is not so brown. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to put it in for another yeah. 10 minutes, I think. How many? Another 10 minutes, I think. Here's mine. I'll, I'll try to. Mine, I know that's five more minutes. Woo. I'll try to. What I'll try five. I've got to be very careful from now on. <coughs> I've got sidetracked with the bacon. I tell you what, my house smells delicious. Oh, Charlene, you're playing. You're busy playing doctor. I hope everything is okay. If you, put, if you put honey on them, on what, D? Your liver absorb more iron? On the bacon, you mean? Oh. I missed part of the chat. Oh, you're using a, are you using a wok? Uh, this is actually a pile skillet. Oh, okay. It's a, oh, wow. Oh, you do have everything, don't you? Yeah, I think Gloria's flattery is making me buy more stuff. So, Gloria, tell me, did you have you actually bought anything like a utensil or a or something to cook with specifically for Gloria's platter? Oh, yeah, lots of things. Yeah, yeah. Lots of things. Yes. I keep I keep some frying pans just for uh, my uh, my channel. So um, that is one thing. Then this skillet I got um, pastry rolling pin. Then um, I also bought a, a KitchenAid um, standing mixer. Only thing is, my kitchen is so small. I, I just want to use it, but I'm just not sure where to keep it because I don't want it taking half my kitchen space. No, well, that's true. Yeah, but it's very I... um, helpful if you are making um, dough for bread or buns, pizza. Yeah. You know, I reckon if I were to start a second channel, I would consider a cooking panel. That'd be awesome. But I just do no, live I just, channel, I just do I, I just do collaborations with you and you know anyone okay. else who wants to collaborate with me. And fluffy. And Hi, fluffy. Thank you so much for coming. <coughs> I really appreciate you all. Please give me a thumbs up. The next collab would be at uh, Heather's channel, right, Heather? Yep. Yes. Anybody could join this uh, sharing recipe series? Yeah. This might be ongoing. Exactly. Between channels? Totally. You know, we, have, we do a lot of collabs where there is a theme and everybody cooks their own dish perhaps. <clears throat> and I thought, I would like to do the same thing, like we, we would cook the same thing side by side, which would be great, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Bum, 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 bum. Went to Carol's last night. It was it was the worst Carol's I've ever been to. I'm sorry. Oh, the Carol's I went to what last night was the worst Carol's I've ever been to. I was oh. very disappointed. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. You know, I'm going to do a Carol's live stream this week. I think that I know it'll be good. 
a carol's karaoke live. Let's how does that sound? We thought we'd get back. I'm going to move my pen. Sorry, I'm going to move my pen to the. Um, well, how's my how's mine looking? This is mine so far. Oh wow! It it's looking good. It's getting crispier. Mine yeah. is still going. Long to cook. I think I needed more. Uh, my my, I'm on a I'm on a bigger flame now. It's flame is well, high and it's a it's a larger one. Mmm. <laughs> Both timers going at the same time. Everyone. All right, clear. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Let's see, let's see. Oh, why? Oh. Good oak. Woo! Does that look delicious or? I want to eat it. Whoa, look at mine, guys. Woo! Oh, wow. Yours wow. is nice and golden as well. That Look. so awesome. Our families are in for a treat tonight. <laughs> hello, hello. Are you ready? All right. I'm putting okay. It so I reckon that's cooked. I'm going to put that aside. Yes. And I'm going to let it cool. Oh, my goodness. And it's so... Crispy. Oh, geez, my phone has. Hang on. What's wrong with my. my... I want to move it. Whoa. <laughs> I want to move Oh, hang on. My. The... My gimbal's died. Oh, wow. My gimbal's died. Um, I'm just going to. Get my old gimbal. I'll be back in a minute. Sure. My, uh, my other gimbal and sorry, people. I didn't realise that it does give off a lot of grease. So um, that is, is that how's that going? So that way, it doesn't. Uh, it, it doesn't. Is that what we? Long time. Is that what we want? Right. Now I think my bacon is crispy enough. Well, guys. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. I'm turning the, stove, the flame off. Let's take it off. You like the bacon crispy like this, guys? Hi, MA Mystery Tours. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, hello, Mark and Annette. I hope everybody's feeling welcome. I'm sorry if I didn't see you. That's because we are busy cooking. Yes. Oh, I don't know. Oh, hang on. What I'm going to do, sorry, I can't do it this way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and plug it in to the power. Point if what I can. Um, I've just got to find the cord, sorry, because I just realized the old one doesn't have the selfie. Oh. Stick. Don't worry, we are here. We can look. Um. Oh. Jeez, so guys, look at how much oil is there? That is like, I would say it's about three quarter cup of uh, grease. I'm not gonna put all that in my cooking. So I'm gonna remove more than half of it. Um, add more later if you want. Oh, hell on, 40. 
Sorry, people, this is ridiculous. I'm going to take my bacon off the heat. Is it cooked now? I think it's cooked now. Good. Um, hang on, have a look at... Oh, it's not even in the right direction. Does that look cooked? Yes. Yes, it's yeah, good. Okay. So I'll just... I'll just how many degrees are you removed? I'm not I'll... using... I I removed like two thirds of the grease that was uh, collected there. That's way yeah. too much. Yeah. Oh my god! No. We're not gonna eat that. I want my family to eat healthy. Yes. Same here. Um, oh. I only have to charge it. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Is that it? That should fit. How's it going? Yeah, I'm getting there. Oh, I'm all a fluster. You know, you think you've got every contingency covered, mm -hmm. except for something that's going to go flat. Oh. I wasn't expecting my gimbal to go flat, but then again, I used it for a few hours the other day on a paranormal investigation and I thought it was still reasonably charged. Don't worry. We're here. Come on. Come on. Heather, take a deep breath. Drink some yeah. cold water. You're fine. Now. Yeah, Fluffy. The pie is ready. Hi, Michael. Thank you so much for coming here. Yes, this is a great collaboration between Australia and USA. Oh, Michael, the realist. Hello. Welcome. I love Michael, the realist. Now, that's the wrong way. Oops. <laughs> you're, going to see my, you're going to see my messy lounge. Bye. There we go. That's better. Oh. My good. Now I'm just going to be so far behind. Now I'll remove all this. Right. So I'm going to. We want some grease. We want some of the bacon fat in it, don't we? Yes. Uh, what I. I mean, it's totally up to you. What I did was I took two thirds of the the oil because I don't feel comfortable. But you well, know. That's that's want, about how much oil I've got. If you feel, if you feel that that is not enough to coat all the Brussels sprouts, we can always add more. Yep. So yeah. that's about the amount of oil I've got in mine. Oh, okay. You got less. So I guess yeah. you're fine. Yep. No. I used a um, low fat. I didn't I didn't get, ba I got bacon that didn't have a lot of fat on it. Wise idea. So, now, why didn't so what I, do I, I? So what do I do? Do I remove the bacon from the pan then? Yes. I removed, yes. The, I removed the bacon. Here's my bacon, making bacon, yeah. and now I have the oil, so we are going to add the Brussels sprouts into the oil. Okay, let me find a plate to put the bacon on. Oh, do you know how much, how many dishes I'm going to have to do after this live stream is finished? <laughs> Whatever you do, be kind to me, please. <laughs> oh. Don't call me anything. <laughs> No, I'm not calling you anything. <laughs> not yet anyway. I'll, oh mumble my under my, I'll mumble under my breath when the live stream's finished. That's a relief. <laughs> I'll call Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a debrief with Fluffy, I reckon. <laughs> my oil is heating up and I have added the Brussels sprouts into it. <sighs> Okay, so the oil, sorry, I put, I put the thing back on the oven, on the yeah. stove, I'll turn the oven off, I'll turn the oven off now. It's not a hot day here, but it's a muggy day. Oh, okay. <coughs> At the moment. It's actually quite cool, but there's a lot of moisture in the air from the cloud cover. So I put my Brussels sprouts in. Yes, and, and coat, the, coat, coat them with the oil. So I'm adding another... Spoonful because I think it's important coating all of them. That's 
All I am planning to add. Hang on. Oh, now it's gone. Bunta again. Sorry, people. What happened? My phone doesn't want to play. Oh. Again? There we go. Right. Again, no, wrong way. There we go. Can you see my pans? Oh, yeah, that's the way I want it to go. There's okay. my pan. I can swan now. So I'm coping. Michael, it looks good, huh? Her dress is beautiful. Thank you. I, like I love you know I was the only person in bright colours last night. Everyone was wearing grey and black and dark colours. I don't know what it is. That's gloomy. It's um I was the only one wearing bright colours. I, I don't know. People are funny. It's Christmas. Black is for funerals, colour is for Christmas. Oh, this has coated the Brussels sprouts nicely. Did, did, did that cover the Brussels sprouts all well? Yep. It's okay. covered it really nicely. We are going to... There's very, there's very little grease on the bottom of the pan. For you, so I'm covering it up and I'm gonna lower the heat and cook it for five minutes. Okay, five minutes. Lower the heat. I might, yeah, I'm lowering my heat as well. Okay, although my Brussels sprouts haven't been on for as long as you, so yeah. but as long as it covered, it could be fine. And then in five minutes, we will add the bacon back, and, okay. you, and then you will be adding the um, black pepper. And yep. if you if you like it super soft, you can cook longer. But um, yeah. I don't want it super super soft, you know. Yeah, mm. I like mine soft. Yeah, but we have to keep an eye on it, and then once in a while, give it a stir, so that way we do not scorch them. Yeah. Um I've got no leaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shall we get maybe them? I'll put them in a, a pot, maybe. Shall we get our drink started? Yes, let's. So guys, it's gonna be a uh, a green cucumber <laughs> mocktail that we are gonna make. And uh we need cucumber, of course. I have sliced the cucumber. And I have, I have a You can use one lemon or two limes. And uh, I have uh, extracted the juice. So if you have not uh, done it yet, Heather, you can do it. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got, lot. well, yeah, okay, sorry. No, I didn't. Um, you I've got two limes, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure of the recipe. I've got two limes. I've also got lime extract in a bottle. Well, I would use the fresh one. Yeah. <clears throat> then I so, have quarter cup of fresh mint leaves. Does it matter how it's chopped? No, because you're going to put it in the blender anyways. Yep. Cool. I have cool. one cup of water. Yep. Hi, Paul Green Spaniels. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my mint. Oh, it smells beautiful. Fluffy, Fluffy were you water. growing mint in your Fluffy and Dee, were you growing mint in your salad bowls and things? Fluffy, do you have mint growing in your garden? And Dee, do you have I mint have growing in your garden? Mint oh, is supposed to be really easy to grow. I want to grow mint. At the moment, I'm growing spring onions. Oh, nice. So the sparkling water, I have a whole bottle, but we will use only one cup. One cup, okay. So here's my mint. That's about a quarter of a cup. 
I hope. Although I like mint, so don't I'm always a person that does to taste. Don't forget the Brussels sprouts. Give it just a little stir. Giving them a stir. Teasing them. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so that's my mint. Let me bring this. This blender belonged to Werner's mum. Oh, really? Okay, so yeah, I'm adding. Werner's. I'm adding the cucumber slices into my blender. Yeah. In the blender. <laughs> okay, so I'm using a continental cucumber. This, these were called uh, British cucumber. It was pretty long, so I'm using like three quarter. Then I have oh. my lemon juice going in. Your lemon juice? Okay, so I'm just going to squeeze two limes. Yeah. Straight into a limes. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. We will, we will blend together, okay? Yeah. There's one lime. Get it all the way out. Yum, yum, yum. Lemon, lime, and bitters. <clears throat> this would be a very healthy drink, too. Oh, yeah. I told Wern I've got a very healthy drink for him, and we might drink this a lot more because. Brooklyn. I want to get him away from the cokes and. Juices and stuff. Okay, that's it. Time and a timer. Now we are going to add the bacon back into the pan. Yeah. I've seen like chefs to squeeze lemons, go run through their hands, straight into the bowl. Are we putting the mint in yet? Uh, no. Can you put the bacon into the dish, oh. uh, into the pan where we have the broccoli? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And then add the black pepper. Bacon. Where's my bacon? Where's my bacon? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. Oh. You can tell you're having a bad day when you can't find the bacon. Right? <laughs> now we are going to cook it again. Covered. Okay. So I need to put in some black pepper. How about three minutes? Does that work oh, for you? So this is my whole black pepper thingy grinder. Yes. Hi, Kido, Hi. Mama. Thank you so much for coming. I love peppers, so I'm just going to... Hi, Wellness with Tammy. Thank you, thank you for being here. I love pepper, 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 pepper. I love pepper to bits. Oh. Oh, you can you can just feel how crispy the bacon is. Yeah. So do you want to cook this for three more minutes? What do you think? Yeah, three more minutes. Yep. Yeah. I don't want it too soggy and uh, too soft. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now throw these out. <coughs> oh. Okay. So let's add the mint. Add the mint. Yeah. Okay. I like mint, so I'm happy to put the whole bunch in. Here we go. More tub of lemon. Yeah, put soda water and stuff yet. Does that go in yet? No. No, sparkling water, you add it gradually later. If you add it now, then the sparkle is going to be lost. Oh, okay. But we don't put the water in either. We did. I oh, did. you put the in. Yeah, okay. so you add the cucumber slices, water, lime juice, and mint leaves. 
Okay, well, I use lime. I thought I'm not paying $5 for a lemon like I did last time when we can go to a neighbour's house and get it for free. But unfortunately, I don't have a neighbour with a lemon tree. Oh. Every second house. When I was a kid, every second house, if not every single house, had a lemon tree. I don't think... I don't think I ever remember paying for a lemon until about five years ago. Okay, we have a we have a cutie tree. You call it mandarins. These are from yes. our backyard. They oh, are wow. so yes. sweet. They yes. are so sweet. And we uh if I'm not kidding, there were over 100, 150 fruit this this uh, uh, this fall. Wow. Wow. It is covered with fruit like a, like a Christmas tree. So colorful. And these are tiny, yeah. you know, but then they are so delicious. Yes, at, absolutely. At one sitting, I would eat about four. Well, it's <laughs> good. <laughs> I don't blame you. Werner probably would too. They look wonderful. We love mandarins. Oh, you have a mandarin tree, Paul? Thank you. That's awesome. We have to go to Berry to steal oranges and mandarins off the... <laughs> Plantations. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm taking the lid off of Heather because uh, I feel that it's accumulating water. So yeah. It depends on how you like it. Do you like it soggy or do you like it crispy? Well, I, I like my vegetables well cooked. Werner prefers his a little bit more like crunchy. Yes. Um, so I try to I try to create a good balance. How I like my Brussels sprouts. You see it, guys? Mm. We'll see. They'll close look. the timer. So mine, I think I will keep for another minute because some of them are not as brown as I want them to be. Mine actually looked good. And do you know what? They don't smell like Brussels sprouts either. They don't, right? That's why I told you. You would totally like it. Yeah. I would, you know, Fluffy, I might have my likes and dislikes and I'm willing to try anything. You know, there's only one thing I can't come to and that's mushrooms. You would be cooking this more often and then tell, telling me, yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. Um, mushrooms, I just hate the taste. I hate the texture. There's nothing about mushrooms I like. Did I put water in the end or did I go straight to... Uh, you have to add the water. Okay, are you turning the Brussels sprouts off now? Uh, I've still got mine going on a low heat. Yeah, I, I put it onto medium so that way they will brown. Yes, yes. But, but um, because I put, my, yeah, I put my Brussels sprout... Oh, sorry. It's only because I put my sprouts in a bit later than you did. That's true. That's true. Oh, this smells so good. Fluffy, you're going to eat this. Fluffy. Look. Let me show it to you. Look. Woo. You will eat it. Thank you, everyone. I'm just going through the chat a bit. Thank you, everyone, for saying hello. I'm sorry I'm not saying hello back because I'm too far away from the chat to read it. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I know this is slightly longer than usual, but we are we are sharing recipes, so I, we cannot make it in yes. one hour. Plus, uh, at the beginning, the internet was not in our favor, in my favor, rather. <laughs> Fluffy, be nice. <laughs> And then I had microphone food. issues. Oh, you don't yeah. say yuck to food. Oopsie. Okay, guys, I'm going to turn off the fire and we will wait for Heather. So that way we can make the mocktail together. Yeah. 
I reckon they're dumb. I'll make them dumb. Turn my heater off. I'll, I'll make them done now. Good. Are you ready for the blender? Yep. Okay. Tell me when you're ready, then we can make the noise together. Yeah, ready. One, two, three, go. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm done. We'll soon see. Mine was getting stuck at some point, and I had to kind of give it a good shake. Oh. <laughs> yes. Shake, shake, shake. Yes. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Okay, shake I think I was booty. making everything. If this will open for me, do you have a strainer? Oh, we are going to. Oh, well, I do. But... We are not going to use the poke. You're using. Oh, okay. I've got one here. Um, it's a small one. Oh, okay. I've got a. I'm too old to be on my hands and knees. Oh dear. Squat, squat. I actually use this for flour to sift oh, my flour. Okay. But this will do to drink. I've got a flour sifter, but sometimes this works better than the actual flour sifter. So does that mean I need a little bowl to put this in? Let me have a bowl. I've got a bowl right here. It's behind the scenes. There we go. So we are not going to use the bulk. Okay, a fork. I don't know, mine doesn't seem to be. Maybe you need to blend another minute. Maybe it's, I don't know. I oh, know it's all right. I mean, the holes are fairly small. Yeah, same with me. The same with mine. This is like what I use for flour sometimes, yeah. Oops, I've made a mess. Oh, dear.
I'm going to use this jar. And before I go to my next step, I wanted to show Heather. I'm sure you have seen me do this. So yeah. this, uh, the, the, I'm going to slice these cucumbers very finely. But before, yes. before slicing them, you take the fork. Can you see me? Oh, yes. Yes. Are you able to see? Yes, I've, I've seen you do that. Yes, okay. my mother does that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you know what I'm talking about. So when you yes. do this and you slice them uh, very finely, you they would look like flowers. It's yeah. decorative. Yeah. Is it that's a have I got I seem to have a lot of pulp. Oops. Yeah, I have a, I have a few too, but I, I was wondering if you put too much uh um mint in it. The mint leaves. Yes, possibly. That's okay. That's all right, I'll leave it, I'll leave it as that. That's that's pretty good. I really break mine pulp. Okay, I'll put that up there for the time being. Oh. The natural fact, if I was just making this for me and Werner, I'd leave the pulp in. Okay. Right, I'm going to cut my cucumber very finely. You don't need yeah. to, I mean, this is just maybe two or three on top. How many um, slices do we do? I am thinking two, but yep. one, you could do a little slit, like like quarter, and then you can make it stand on the cup, on the rim. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I've got my glass here. So I just cut it like this. So grab a fork. Actually, I'll cut a little bit more because that could still be the yucky end. Again, if it was just Werner and I, we'd eat the yucky ends. <laughs> Food doesn't get weight. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that working? You have to push push it and then pull it towards you and you're gonna have a cucumber bag. <laughs> It'll be sprayed. Yeah. There we go. Can you see what I'm no no one can see what I'm actually doing? Um no. It's sort of not working. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna push that Let's back a bit. Mmm, it smells so good, guys. Oh, the ha I'll bet the whole street's jealous. <laughs> they're probably smelling pork, they're smelling pie, they're smelling bacon. Thank you. They're smelling you lots of sprouts. Yes, guys, please connect with each other. I really appreciate your time spent here, and I would be visiting you soon. Yep. And How many slices are you cutting? Just two. Okay. I just cut the end off. Yeah, you need the third one to go on the rim, right? Yeah, so we put, we cut it, we make a slit in. Yeah, like quarter way. Slit, quarter cut way. Slit, and then I took a teeny weeny bit off, if you can see what I'm showing you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Make it too big. Oh, okay, like a little wedge, a yeah. tiny wedge. Little bit. Yep. Don't make the wedge too wide, then it won't stay. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> I'm not very good with precision cutting. You're fine. Is that all right? That's all right. Oh, that's pretty damn good, I reckon. <laughs> not bad, am I? You're good. See, I told you. I told you. Yeah. Okay. Have you got the eyes? I've got ice, yes. Let's get it. Mm. 
I'm just using my hands if that's okay. Well, you'll be drinking it, so. Do we fill the whole glass? Uh, I don't want a lot of ice because you want to fill the drink. So oh, yeah. Soon it's going to melt and mix up with the drink, right? Yes, there you go. There's a bit of that's just at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five cubes. Yeah, I put six or seven. Okay, ready? Yep. Let's pour. Oh, you put yours into a jug. Oh. Yeah. Hang on. I'll put mine back into this. Yeah, it's easy to pour. You know you were going to pour it, so. <laughs> well, yeah, I know. I was too busy thinking about the bacon. That's okay. You're forgiven. So we um, – have we put the sparkling wine in the water in yet? We didn't, huh? Good job. See? The teacher is forgetting. Good job. If not for you, I would have forgotten. Okay, let's gently mix it. Okay, hang on. Um. Mount Franklin sparkling water, the finest you'll get. Now, give me a bloody partnership, Mount Franklin. <laughs> All right, let's do this. There's a cup of sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Oops. Oh, no. Yes, 19 of us here. Thank you so much. Woo oh, dear. I'm just going to use the dessert spoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good. I'm just popping that back in the fridge. I'm good. So I'm ready to pour my drink. Let's do it. Oh, hang on. Let me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look amazing? Mm. Still not done. No, no. Do, you have, do you have any... Um, End slicer and end bits of the um, mint leaves. End. Uh, I've got a few. Yeah. Like, like you know the the thin end, not the not where the stem is pretty big. So I would like to put one of those there. Okay. Yeah. Just on top. Yeah. Now, weavers, tell me. If we put these cucumbers in here, would it be too much? Or do you like it? This is the question for you. Do you like more um, slices in here? Another cucumber in the in the drink or yeah. on the cup? In the drink. Two two cucumbers in the in the drink. Uh That's I don't it. know. Let's ask the viewers. What do you think? Friends, what do you think? You want more? Okay, let's put them. Put some more cucumbers in there. No, just two, just two. You had two. Okay. What happened to the two you you just liked? Um, I only had one. Oh. I told you to slice three. Actually, I don't know what, what. What did I do with the other one? Oh, there it is. You ate them? <laughs> Quite possibly. There we go. Oh, that looks better. It was just under my bag. Look at this. Oh, you want vodka? Fluffy? Yeah, you will need vodka when you are eating that Brussels sprouts. Oh, or I a like dash Instead of sparkling water, a dash of champagne. All right. Right. Let's, <laughs> let's dish the. Okay, time to dish up. Yep. Oh, 
Well, okay, let me remove all this. Oh, and I've just got to stick a mint leaf in there as well. There we go. <laughs> Let's have a look. Right. Oh, here. Now. With the green straw? Sorry? I put a green straw. <laughs> oh, I don't have straws. Yeah, save the plastic. <laughs> if this is delicious, we I might make a drink from this more often. Now I'm going to grab a... What, what do you think? Is it too early to cut the pie? Sorry? Is it too early to cut the pie? Slice it now or later? I'll oh, slice it now if you want to. It's up to you. Um, oh, it's quite cool. No, mine is still hot. Is it? Oh, mine's cooled down a fair bit. Hang on. Drop me to slice mine. Yeah, mine's cooled down. I don't know why. That's Drop a knife and slice mine. Open. And I, how do people slice? I just go cut down the middle and slice in, slice three. Well, I'll do a third. There we go. I'm going to take a picture before I cut it. Oh, yeah. I, oh, lost me. I don't need to, do I? Really? <laughs> <laughs> do you now, let's see if I can get this out without making a mess, a mess, a mess. Hang on. Let me cut a little bit more. Oh, here we go. I think my spatula's a bit too big. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's a pie. Okay. Now, I need to... Uh, what kind of a uh, knife did you use? Is the serrated knife good? Whoa. Uh, no, this is this is actually um I picked the wrong knife. This is a carving knife, actually, I think. Is this good or no? Yeah, it worked all right. All right. It worked all right for me. But how oh, I know it's a very small serve. Scratch and Pete would eat that in a in one mouthful. <laughs> Whoa. With all the work Pete does, he'd need two pies. Okay, let me get the Spicy red tomato sauce, an Australian favourite. <laughs> oh, I'm missing all the chat. Oh, I've got to scroll. Oh, fluffy, I'm so tempted. I love licking the knife, but not this one. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Oh. Get some space. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, am I going to mess it up? You got it out so easily. I know. Only because I'm used to it. I am the pie queen. Oh, I, I messed it up. <laughs> oh, well. Till it, and till the, the um, Oz, the Australian contingent will know what this is all about. Tell me, Dee and Fluffy, do I put the sauce on the pastry or under the pastry? I killed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, that looks all right. Actually, that's that's good. That's no, rusty. No, as I was getting it out, it broke in half. <laughs> yeah, no, that's rustic. That's fine. <laughs> all right. Um, it's uh, mine's a pork and vegetable pie. 
Um, Mine is chicken and vegetable pie. Yes, and it's um, a uh, my spin on the Aussie meat pie. Here, you can have a cutie. Grab one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's for dessert. You did good, huh? You did good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I reckon it looks pretty damn tasty. It's a small serve. Sorry, people who are big eaters. You can always come back for seconds. There's plenty more. This is our dinner. Woo! Made by Gloria Splatter and come hither with Heather. Yes. Guys, you came we've for got, a big treat. We've got, yes, we've got an Aussie US infusion. Yes. Infusion, invasion. <laughs> invasion, infusion. Shall I serve up some Brussels sprouts? Gloria? Yes, I, I served it into this. Let me serve some to the plate. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, well, I, I, when I served my dinner, we, I know, I noticed that like in America, you sort of serve platters of food or tend to. Mm -hmm. When in Australia, we tend to serve on the plate. Right. Cook decides how much every person's going to get. Sometimes we'll do platters and put stuff on the table, but most of the time for a regular dinner, it gets served on the plate. There we go. It's good. Looks delicious, actually. There we go. So if you're in Australia, this is sort of literally what would come to you at the table. If only my crust didn't break, that would have been so perfect. Yes, yes. Oh, well. Do you agree, um, Fluffy and Dee, that that's how your dinner would come? And I'm just going to get my... Fluffy, you're going to eat we're, this? We're big on... I'm going to get my potato salad out because we're big on meat and three veg. Oh, right. Let's get the potato salad. All right, and I'm going to... Oh, there's not much left over. <laughs> they go fast, huh? I'll grab a clean spoon. And I'll just do a little bit of potato salad on this. This is this is German potato salad. Did now you? the funny thing is that, the funny thing is is that my Dad's version of potato salad, who's German, is different from Werner's family's version of potato salad, who's also German. Oh. Um, so my my grandparents um, or came from Prussia, whereas Werner's parents came from East Germany. Okay. And my family used a lot of vinegars, whereas Werner's family tends to use a lot of cream. Oh, So that's the difference in... So how does that look? Looks good to me. What do you think, friends? Would you eat it? Yeah, her potato salad is in there. Do you add egg to your potato salad, Heather? I add, I've got egg. Yes. Corn, peas, okay. onion, capsicum. Wow. Dill pickle, dill pickle yeah. juice, mayonnaise, and a little bit of vinegar. Delicious. What do you think, guys? So, there you go. so when next time you people, you Americans, come to Australia, you can accept expect a dish like this. And to top it all off, we've got the um, tomato sauce. Now, there's a debate whether tomato sauce goes on the top of the pie like that or if it goes under the crust like oh. that. Some people like it on top. Some people like it underneath. To be honest, I would put it on the side so whichever they want to uh, dip yes. in, they could do it. On the side. Yeah, I know. yes, yes. But that's a debate. When people get a pie and sauce, mm -hmm. people have either on the top or in the middle. 
and there's and it's a big thing, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's a big so thing. I, Where does the thought so belong? I had so much fun cooking with you, Heather, and I had so much fun sharing it with you, viewers. Thank you. Who are here, and thank you so much for accepting my invite. And oh. Uh, I'm going to turn myself on here. Hang on, I'll turn myself on, geez. <laughs> that sounded terrible. Here we go. Thank you so much for inviting me, Gloria. It's been absolutely amazing. I really had a great time, and I hope the viewers had a wonderful time too. Yes, so, I um, really enjoy cooking with you, Gloria. Absolutely. I thank you all for being here, and we would meet soon somewhere. Someday it could be your place, it could be my place, or it could be Heather's place. Thank you all yes. for being here for so long. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Heather, kisses to you. Yeah. And viewers, thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, see, see. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>